so open your book we were on page on the chapter climates of india climate of india we were on chapter number 8 climate of india now you have to open page number this is the page number 174 in your book page number 117 74 page number 174 let's start with seasons of india in previous classes you have already learned about winter season summer season correct monsoon retreating monsoon monsoon season yes yes, yes ma'am yes ma'am yes yes ma'am okay so we will read now in detail in this chapter first we read winter season winter season starts as you all know it starts mid of november and end mid of march the temperatures of northern part are new delhi is in northern part of india so that's why this is the correct month for us for winter season far lower than the southern part january and february are the coldest month with the temperatures ranging between 10 degree celsius and 20 degree celsius in the northern mountains it dips further but the indian peninsular region you already know what are the peninsular region yes or no yes yes ma yes is ma warm due to the moderating effect of arabian sea and bay of bengal north india also experience some amount of winter rainfall which is caused by the cyclone storm known as western disturbance underline this line what is cyclone can anyone can anyone tell what is cyclone storm have you ever seen a cyclone ma'am flood no not flood yes ma'am cyclone is bahut bada sa tufaan hota hai yes Yes, ma'am. उसे हम लोग हरिकेन भी कह सकते हैं. Yes, very good, very yes, good. Correct, correct. So that is known as western western disturbance. Underline this line as well. Cyclone storm known as the western disturbance. Okay, which originate in the. Let me erase this. the bring rainfall to the northern plain widespread snow in the northern mountain with the temperature dipping below 0 degree celsius so th that was all about winter season now have a look on the summer season summer season you already know what is the summer season summer season being in the mar begins in the march continue till june and the temperature start rising all over india reach up to the 40 degree celsius and the desert region is may go up to 50 degree celsius the peninsular region experience moderate climate due to the influence of the sea so uh, those places which are near to sea they experience always moderate climate clear during the summer underline this line as well you have to underline this i will tell you just wait this one during the summer season local hot winds hot winds are known as lo loo okay underline this line the local hot winds called loo blow over the northern plains around the end of the summer season around the end of the summer season 
बिफोर बिफोर अराइवल ऑफ मॉनसून सीजन प्री मॉनसून शावर्स आर एक्सपीरियंस्ड इन मेनी पार्ट ऑफ कंट्री द कॉमनली कॉल्ड नॉर्थ वेस्टर्न इन द ईस्ट एंड नॉर्थ ईस्ट इंडिया अंडरलाइन दिस बोर्डोसिला इन आसाम काल बेसाखी इन वेस्ट बंगाल एंड मैंगो शार्स इन केरला अंडरलाइन ऑल ऑफ देम डन समर सीजन इज क्लियर टू एवरी वन yes ma'am yes sir. now move to the monsoon monsoon the monsoon season in india begins in the june and continue till the end of september during this time northern part of india extremely hot okay monsoon season extremely northern part of india is extremely hot thus low pressure zone is created over the region the peninsular region is comparatively cool during this time thus the region that have high pressure we know that the wind blow from the high pressure to low pressure area the winds blow from indian ocean towards the land carry moisture as they enter the mainland they bring the rain since these winds blow from southwestern direction they are called underline this line as well they are called southwest monsoon winds or they known as advancing monsoon when the wind reach in the peninsular region they are bifurcated into the bifurcate into the two branches of arabian sea branch of bay bengal branch both of the branches had northwards northwards and meet in the north india now look at this picture this is the direction of southwest monsoon you can see the southwest you can see the arrows you can see the ocean yes or no yes ma'am yes ma'am yes, ma so where yes, the arrows go arrows going up, down up. or upwards ma'am upwards upwards, or upwards it means they are up, up, the wind blows from the sea side and goes up to the land mass this is the direction of the wind the monsoon wind are now you can see the monsoon wind these winds can blow floods in one part and drought in another part in the at the same time good monsoon is the good for indian economic as it has for rich rich harvest and adequate provide for all has surplus for the export so you can understand that if these monsoon is good for which part of india this is good for india's economy because they the product the production is surplus in this time clear yes ma'am let's yes, ma'am yes, ma retreating monsoon now we will see retreating monsoon the season of retreating monsoon or withdrawal of the monsoon wind begin mid september and continue up to the mid november during this time the sun moves always moves away from its away from the tropic of cancer to the equator resulting in cooling down of mainland the sea however remain warm now the cold wind from the northern you can see the arrows now now the arrows goes downwards it means they come from the mainland and goes to the sea clear mountains yes ma'am blow from the northeast direction towards yes, the high pressure of the sea on their way 
wind pick up moisture yes, from bay of bengal and cause the rain of the coast of tamil nadu it during the retreating monsoon the tamil nadu receives underline this line this time period of retreating monsoon means when the winds come from the land to the sea at that time at retreating monsoon time tamil nadu means south part of india receives maximum rainfall also low pressure over the bay of bengal causes cyclone you know what is cyclone mam boss mam yes mam to san where yes yes mam when the strong wind comes and damage the life or the property okay so cyclone develop which cause loss of life and property along the eastern coast of india so that was our monsoon now we will see our last topic from this chapter that is distribution of rainfall what is distribution of rainfall let's see the rainfall that india receives in unevenly distribution because of relief feature of the direction of the monsoon wind we can see the direction of the monsoon so uh, because of direction of monsoon our india some part of india receive maximum rainfall or some part of other part of india have drought so that unequal uneven distribution of the wind or rainfall we can say because of the relief feature of the india so the average annual average annual annual means yearly clear not monthly it's yearly average annual rainfall of india is 120 meter centimeter underline this the average annual rainfall of india is 120 centimeter rajasthan gets little or no rainfall while the eastern india receives very heavy rainfall according to india has been divided into four rainfall region underline this very heavy heavy moderate and underline all of them heavy very heavy moderate and scanty the region lying on the windward side like the western slope of the western ghat western ghat western ghat coastal plain and some northern north east state receive very heavy rainfall these region receive more than 200 cm rainfall underline this line maneswar near the chair punji meghalaya receives maximum rainfall in the world underline this line this question will come in your question your question paper okay this is very important question which which of the state receives maximum rainfall okay which country which state parts of the northern plain the himalaya region part of the western ghat the eastern coast and the some northern eastern states receive heavy rainfall these region receive rainfall between 100 cm to 200 cm moderate rainfall is received in uttar pradesh haryana north punjab gujarat eastern rajasthan deccan plateau amount of the rainfall received in these region is between 50 to 100 cm regions that receive rainfall the thar desert underline this run of kutch ladakh northern part of himachal pradesh and haryana amount of the rainfall receives in these region is less than 50 cm so that was our chapter that is finish here let's uh, see it's beyond border